This week's episode of Trike Hobo Talk, Steve discusses his 2017 pannier setup. Stay tuned. Howdy, this is Trike Hobo here, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about my pannier system. In the eight years I've been doing Trike Asylum, one of my most frequently asked questions is, what pannier setup do you use when you go exploring, adventuring, or going on tour? Well, I've written about this stuff on and off. It's all over Trike Asylum and in my books, but I've changed a few things here and there. And so I thought uh, that right now I would just kind of take you on a visual tour and show you what my current setup is. Um, so if you like it, you might use it yourself. Okay, let's get started with the show. Yeah, before we get started here, <clears throat> I thought I'd uh, give a shout out to Matt Gallup, our intrepid HP Velotechnic uh, Scorpion tricycle, recumbent tricycle adventurer who is currently starting on his third time to get around planet Earth. So he'll be doing that for the next five to seven years. And this is his uh, Jayo shirt, which I like to wear. It shows up uh, well to motorists and it also uh, Keeps me adding fuel to life, which is what Jiao means in Chinese. But right now, as I talk, Matt is uh, probably in northern Japan, pedaling south. He was in. He went from China to Korea and then to northern Japan. He's going to pedal to the south of Japan and try to hop a ride on a ship back to the mainland. So stay tuned for that adventure. Okay, let's talk some panniers now. The first one I'm going to talk about here is the Fastback system made by TerraCycle in Portland, Oregon. I'm talking about, I have two of these, and I'm talking about them first because they go right behind my seat. And once we get the other bags on, you won't even be able to tell they're in there. So, Basically, these bags hold the water bladder, a three liter water bladder. Um, here's one mounted on the trike already. You can see it mounts the top of the uh, seat bar here, the top seat bar, <clears throat> and then it mounts around the bottom bar of the seat just on the back side behind your rear end and you just have to kind of wrap that around there a couple times and it 
keep in mind this is going to have three liters of water in it, a water bladder, and once that's full, here's the water bladder inside, I don't have it filled up right now. But once that's full, it's going to take up all this space back here. It's going to fill out to about like this. And on the back of each of these, I have the, uh, this little tool pouch. On the, it's on each one of them here. And that's a little additional thing that goes to the back. Mounts on there real clean. And you can put, uh, I've always put all my road tools in it. Keeps them out of the way. Keeps them up um, where a lot of your body weight is and keeps it, the extra weight off your rear rack. Okay, looking at this little tool pouch, it attaches with Velcro to the back of the bladders. I think it's an extra $17, but it's worth it. Now there's one of these on each of my water bladder holders, and I just have these little Eagle Creek bags that I keep my tools in. There's two of them. And that just goes in there like this. And then this little pouch zips up. And that stores your tools in a very convenient place and they're out of the way. Um, you, so you have three liters of water that'll be in here three liters of water on the other side behind the seat, and two tool pouches. It's a nifty little setup. It keeps your, the bulk of your water supply uh, behind your seat, out of the way, in an area that normally is not used for anything. Most trike touring people that I've seen just have this big void back here, and there's nothing here. So they have this triangle where the seat is, and, and the uh, rear frame and all that. So I try to utilize that as much as possible, keep the weight centered around me um, and out of the way. Because when the rest of the bags go on here, you won't even see these two uh, TerraCycle water bladder bags that hold uh, the uh, Camelback. Camelback water bladders are what I use, three liters on each side. So a total of six liters of water, which will get you a long way down the road. And there's um, those little water spouts, um, siphon hoses that come out that you suck on when you want water. Okay, let's uh, look at the uh, next bags I'm gonna put on here. The next set of bags are made by Arkell in Canada. And they are called the RT60 meaning that they hold 60 liters of cargo. Now you can see here are the TerraCycle bags that hold the Camelback water bladders. Here's the tool pouch. The RT60s are angled. RT stands for um, the recumbent, recumbent trike is what I call it. And so the angle kind of matches this angle going on up here. The RT60s are uh, great bags. They hold a lot of stuff. You can load them like a suitcase if you want. They're, they um, have all aluminum parts and aluminum frame right here. A little strap that supports them. And the nice, what I like about it is they use these uh, super heavy duty YKK steel zippers. They never break, at least I haven't had one break. And the aluminum attachment hardware, no plastic here with Arkell. They, uh, they make sure you're not going to be broken down. And then there are yellow rain covers for these bags which I used to use just for rain, but now I use them usually anytime I'm out touring just because of the visibility. On the back here is a little pouch that um, Velcros and straps on that you can put another water bottle in if you want, or I've had rain gear in the backs of them.
Hi, this is the Lone Triker. And I'm here to tell you, I got sick and tired of flats. You might be sick and tired of flats too. If you're sick and tired of flats, and don't want any more damn flats, there's something you can do about it. Get rid of the frickin' inner tubes. Yeah, that's right. Then, go tubeless. Get tubeless tires, tubeless rim, and then use this. Stands, no tubes, tire sealant. End of flats. Period. There's a pouch here on the outside, a mesh pouch. So if you have any wet socks or a tent uh, fly or I don't know, anything that's damp, you can put it out here and it dries while you're pedaling along. And there's a few other little compartments here that open up for things. I used to have a set of R, um, GT54s by Arkell before these. Um, they actually have less uh, advertised st cargo volume. Um, one thing I liked about those was uh, they had these exterior pockets that seemed to not cut into the uh, interior space. In other words, if you put stuff in here, it has to be pretty thin, otherwise it just pushes into your other compartment, and so you're gonna lose space one way or the other. So I'm not sure exactly how they measure that, but uh, Arkell, bags are top-of-the-line bags. One on each side of the rack. The little um, extra pouch back here. These come with a really tall pouch on, on this side for those old-fashioned uh, um, mattress pads that you still see, surprisingly, a lot of cyclists use, but Nowadays, with the uh, modern pads that can be configured to be rolled up or squared away anywhere in your panniers, you don't need that big tall thing. So I, I just had, I just put one of these on the other side too, and it makes for a nice, uh, a Nalgene 1.5 liter water bottle will fit in each one of these quite nicely, but it does add a lot of weight, water weight to the back. You can flip these around. So this pouch is up front if you have something heavy, but then it'll interfere with the uh, camelback water bladders and the TerraCycle bags. So all things considered, this is probably the best and you just want to keep it light back here. The next set of bags I have are the Radical Design side seat pods or panniers. And I've had uh, several pairs of these, they're great bags. I started with a smaller pair called the Racers, um, Banana Racers, then I went to, that's when I had my street trikes, then I went to a, uh, for one tour I used the Banana Small, which is this size, but not this bag here. The Banana Small for my street trikes was just a couple, two or three inches off the ground, so I went back to the, the uh, Banana Racer, which is the uh, 12 liters per 12 and a half liters per side for a total of 25 liters. Well now, I, and I had those for five years, those, they were yellow if you've looked at any of the photographs. These, I've gone back to the Banana Small, this is a new set I just ordered from uh, the Netherlands, Hubert Van Ham over there owns a company, uh, makes these, they're handmade. When you order them, they make them to order. So these are, 40 liters, 20 liters on this side and 20 liters on the other side. 
you see there's, there's one bag on each side. So 40 liters total between the two. And they, they, they just simply drape over your seat. And then this top, top strap I just put behind my neck rest here. And that holds that in place. It's designed to actually go underneath your, your trunk. You're on your rack here. But I like it better here. Um, in these side bags, that is where I put my sleeping bag and my tent. Tent on one side, sleeping bag in the other. And <clears throat> since I have this large trike now that has 17 inches of ground clearance, I went back to this larger size, not because the banana racers wouldn't hold my tent and sleeping bag, but because these just have a little more room and rather than having to really compress my tent and sleeping bag quite small to go in the banana racers, now I can just kind of put them in there without so much compre such a compression factor. And let's say my tent is a little bit damp, well it's better not to compress it super tight, you know, just kind of let the thing air out. So you can see that the uh, these kind of overlap the RT60s by, by Arkell, but that's okay. When you get the stuff in here, these kind of flare out, and they make great armrests, just kind of like sitting in your lazy boy recliner at home. Um, so, but these are 60 liters by Arkell. These are 40 liters. They're called the Banana Small. Okay. If you go with the banana medium or the banana large, the banana large are 70 liters, they come all the way back to here. And if you're going to go with a single set of bags, you could do that, but you wouldn't have room for, I mean, you wouldn't want these uh, RT60s in there too, it would be huge. So, you got 60 liters here between the two on each, one on each side, and 40 liters here, so that's a total of 100 liters. And then, now the final bag, is on top here, it's the Arkell Tail Rider trunk. And I've had this uh, trunk ever since 2009 when I started uh, doing my triking. It's been on all my trikes. And you can see it lasts quite a long time. Uh, it hasn't even begun to wear out. It um, holds 11 liters. It's expandable. It has an expandable bellows and top. You can put a helmet in here. Um, you, can, you can put a lot in here. It's 11 liters. It's huge. Right now I have this lock and a spare inner tube for these huge 4 by um, 4 uh, point 7 by uh, 26 inch tires on here. <clears throat> but you probably don't want to put a lot of weight this high up. I'd keep this pretty light. Maybe put the lock down below in the front of the RT60s, but it still has to be easy to get to if you want to use a lock. Um, I would highly recommend. Now, this this tail rider is made by Arkell, so we have the Ar Arkell two RT60s, the Arkell tail rider, which is 11 liters, the Radical Design, a great company, excellent. Never had any of these bags fail. Um, Arkell is a Canadian Radical Design from the Netherlands and so that's 111 liters and when you compare you got a, probably about a liter in each of these uh, tool pouch bags here so you have about 113 liters with that setup and that's what I am currently using and will probably stick with uh, the only reason I've uh, I've had so many bags at this point is that uh, um, the radical design, the banana small, was too close to the ground on my street trikes, but now there's no, there's no issue with that at all. You can see the banana smalls are way off the ground here. Um, probably about 13, uh, well, actually probably close to 17 inches off the ground. So I've gone back to those just to have more room. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the bags are concerned. One thing I've found is that you start loading these things down, 
It, gets, it can get quite heavy, 113 total liters total cargo volume. That's a lot of volume, and so you have to be careful. I mean, there's no way that um, you'd even need a trailer. There's so much room here. But I have found that if you have a fat trike like this one is, and you're going to actually take a trip, stay on fairly hard packed trails or dirt roads because it still is a trike and you, even with this uh, big knobby tire in the back, there's only so much you can do. It's, it gets tough pedaling this through deep sand with no bags on it. So just keep that in mind, don't go, uh, don't go crazy with loading this way down and then expect to go out in the outback into some real sandy areas because you'll just bog down, you'll have to end up uh, pushing it or pulling it. I, I always pull here with my pull handle, as you know. Okie dokie, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed uh, the little update on my bags. And I hope that answers any questions. And now when I get the next person come along and ask me these questions, I can say, well, I have a movie presentation that talks all about that. You're in luck, and here it is. And that's what you just got done finished watching. All righty, over and out. A couple more things about these Radical Design bags, forgot to mention. Um, on each one at the front, there is a, a um, mesh, heavy-duty mesh pouch. I've seen some people put uh, water bottles in here. It doesn't go all the way down, it sticks up a little bit. But you, it's, it's a convenient place to put uh, energy bars, I don't know, you know, whatever you want to put in here, it's fast and easy to get to. There's one on each side of your seat. Now, one thing that uh, I want to talk about is on the inside of these bags, they're, they're a new design. They didn't used to have it this way. See how these bags just bend around? They're really totally floppy. Well, the new ones, this one didn't do that. This one had a foam uh, insert on the inside part that actually helps retain its shape, which may work for some cyclists, but it doesn't work for me. I like these things to be totally soft. And so let me show you these inserts. I take them out, okay? Now, this is the insert from the Banana Racer, the little one, 12.5 liters. It goes on the, went on the, go on the inside of the bag. It's between two layers of the material. You don't even know it's there, but you can feel it. The other one here, the gray one, is from these bags that are on the trike right now, the banana small. So by overlaying them, you can see the cross section. The banana racer, the dark gray on top, 12 and a half liters per side, and it's advertised to strap entirely to the seat. In other words, the three straps hold it to the seat, they drape over like saddlebags. The banana small, which is the 40 liter size, which I just showed you on this trike here, you can see how this has a cutout, okay? Well, that's supposed to approximate the angle of your recumbent seat to the angle of the rack, and then the back strap, which I put around the neck rest here instead of back here on the rack. The back strap, the way they advertise it, then goes across the top of the rack. Well, I don't want to do that. Plus, th this, this angle thing doesn't work for me. It's not the right angle on this trike. Um, and so, I, I could, ba basically what it does, once I got it on this trike, this angle thing was sticking up this far above my seat on either side. It just didn't work for this trike. So I cut a small slit on the end, carefully, very carefully, 
It's like surgery. On the inside piece of uh, material, roll, the, roll this up because these are quite flexible. You can bend them. And then I just and I pull it out. Now, um, what I neglected to do uh, on the Radical Design website, there's a place where you can leave comments uh, when you make your order. And what I should have done was just asked Hubert to leave this interior uh, form out. All these are is just some, uh, you know, soft closed cell neoprene or whatever to give the bag shape. But I have, after, you know, I've been using these things for uh, eight years and I find that nothing like this is needed. He just started doing this, oh, maybe four years ago, I guess. Um, but, you know, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. If you want some shape to your bags, I find, I found that with my banana racer, the smaller one here, that by taking it out, I could actually stuff the bag with more stuff. <laughs> you know, it was easier to, for my sleeping bag to go in because the bag is totally flexible at this point. It's just, it's just totally flexible. I mean, you can, you can bend it around like this. And, um, so I take these things out. And like I say, unfortunately, I didn't uh, think about it ahead of time. These things were being shipped on their way from Holland when I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't ask him to keep this out. So it came with it in, so I just took it out. My recommendation, um, again, this is just uh, myself speaking, but I would say that if you order a pair of these Radical Design bags, just to uh, request that this, these inserts, on most trikes, you're probably going to want the banana racer, these little ones. They're 12 and a half liters per side. 25 liters total, and they you can get a, a two-person tent in one side and a sleeping bag in the other. You have to compress them um, fairly well, but they do fit, and I, like I say, I've run with those for over five years, and they, they work great. And if you have a lower trike, which most of you do, you don't probably have one of these fat trikes, this is the one you're going to want, the Banana Racer. Not, not the banana, small. I mean, it says small, but the racer is th the one you want. This is probably, this is too big. If, if you're running a, a, an ice uh, sprint, this might work. Uh, if you're running, a, I mean, if you're running an ice adventure, the big, the banana small might work, but if you're running an ice sprint, you would definitely want the banana um, racer, which is a little, little one. Um, so just keep that in mind. My recommendation is uh, just to ask him right from the factory when you order it to leave those out and then basically you see this is the back side of it and those forms would normally be on, um, behind this piece of cloth, Cordura cloth, heavy duty, and then on the, on the inside there's a thin piece of cloth that, that uh, entombs that and I just slit it and pull those things out and then I repair the slit with some uh, heavy duty uh, fabric repair tape. So okay, that's, uh, that's something for you to think about if you order those radical designs. Okay, I want to show you here now uh, these uh, covers for the panniers, the tail rider has one built in to a little pouch right in the front here, and you just pull it out, and you just pull it over the top, and it's always handy, fits right on there, i got to tighten this tail rider down, it's sliding on the rack. Okay, and then, these RT60s, have nice uh, pannier, or covers also. You can swing these out of the way if you want to put this on. But you can see that once these are on, 
Right now my panniers don't have anything in them. But that's what it looks like. It uh, shows up quite a bit better on the road. So if you want the, the higher visibility, you just put those on. If you're trying to get lost in the woods uh, for some seclusion, leave them off and your panniers are black. That's all, folks. See ya.